Hello, my name is Rebecca and welcome to my channel. So the weather is getting a little bit more brisk, a little cooler, and people are going back to school. And I think this is like the perfect time to pick up an atmospheric, cozy book for when you're a sip of tea or maybe on a weekend trip in a cabin somewhere. So I have some recommendations for you guys. And my recommendations are in three categories. The first one is contemporary, maybe a little bit of magic, but basically most people can enjoy it. There's not gonna be some big backstory you're gonna have to read. The second category is nonfiction for my nonfiction lovers. And my last category is of course fantasy. So the first book I'm gonna recommend is I what I feel like the epitome of cozy book. And that book is Shady Hollow, A Murder Mystery, written by Juno Black. Fun fact, Juno Black is actually um, two authors. Basically, the best way to describe this book is if a Agatha Christie novel was set in Stars Hollow, but all of the characters are like animals, like forest critter, Zootopia kind of animals. I feel like this book is the best combination of like really it's coziness, atmospheric, kind of want to like just like hang out in that town, but also has that kind of mystery element that you want in the fall. Our main character is a fox who is also a journalist. And in this cute little, you know, Stars Hollow like town, a person has died or an animal has died, right? And our main character slowly uncovers that this is, might be a murder. And throughout the, this book, she's kind of figuring out who is the murderer. It's just kind of a, a, a lighter mystery book that you can read. And look, who can say no to this cover? I've never really seen anyone recommend this book, at least on YouTube before. So I think this is a good one to pick up. The next book I'm gonna recommend is Under the Whispering Door, which is actually written by the same author at, who wrote um, House on the Cerulean Sea, which I think is a lot more popular than this book. But this book starts off with our main character, Wallace, who is a grumpy, curmudgeon -y, stingy lawyer, kind of in the, the middle of his life. And he dies ex unexpectedly. And that's, <laughs> that's just the beginning of the book. His reaper takes him to this way station for basically people who have died, um, lost souls, before they kind of go on to the next thing. And this way station in particular is a tea shop run by this man named Hugo. Wallace throughout this book reflects on his life, things that he could have done differently, things that he regrets. Um, and he also builds really beautiful relationships with both the people and the ghosts in this tea shop. I think this is such a beautiful book, kind of thinking about your own life. The tea shop in itself just seems so, so cozy. What I really love about this book is that it talks about obviously death, grief, trauma, mental health, in this way that is so like welcoming, warm, cozy, empathetic, in a way that I think a lot of other books haven't been able to do. And I think especially if this is something that you want to read about but you don't want to be like as triggered by, um, I think this is a really good book to read because it does obviously talk about these things. For example, one of the characters has panic attacks and they talk about in a really non-judgmental loving way and less of like a plot device. I think the other books kind of use mental health as so I think that is something that I, I really like about Under the Whispering Door. Next is nonfiction books. The first one I'm going to talk about is The Good Neighbor, which is about the life of Mr. Rogers, um, which of course in itself is, you know, a very cozy thing. I think if anyone watched Mr. Rogers' Neighborhood growing up as a kid, it's, you know, a very cozy show. And I think that this book brings back those same feelings as an adult. It's really interesting to like learn about his life, um, but also learn about making a kid's show and kind of his research around it. And he did a lot of like scientific study around what is the way to best have a kid's TV show. What's like, what's ethical, what's not ethical. So I think this is a great book. 
If you watch Mr. Rogers or a gift for somebody who has a kid or loves like childhood development kind of stuff. Next on people who just make me feel really cozy, Dolly Parton. Well, I absolutely love Dolly Parton. And this book is called She Come By It Natural by Sarah Smarsh. Sarah Smarsh. This is not only about Dolly Parton, but um, working class women throughout middle America. And I think this is cozy in a different way than other books are cozy, which I feel like a lot of other cozy books are like set in the forest, set in the mountains. And this feels cozy in that kind of like middle America cozy way of that warm house, company people, things like that, hot dish, kind of cozy. If you like Dolly Parton, I think you'll like this book. It's also really easy to get through. And it talks not only about her life, but just working class women's issues in general. So if you like kind of more like feminist books, I think this is a good one for you. And look at this cover. I just like absolutely love this cover. It's, it's so good. I love this thing. So now we're moving on to fantasy books. And the first book I want to recommend is definitely for people who want that really cold, snowy, you're in a cabin in Colorado or something like that. You want like that really cold, but by the fireplace feeling. And this book, I think will definitely give you that vibe. It's called The Bear and the Nightingale. It's a fairy tale based in medieval Russia. So it's very, very cold. And our main character, Vasilisa, grows up in a family in Russia where they celebrate the spirits, right? This is before, it's kind of as Christianity is coming in. They um, tell stories about the local spirits there, particularly of one spirit named Frost, who's very powerful in that area. And Vasilisa gets very attached to these fairy tale stories, but her, father, her mother had died when she was born and her father remarries and her stepmother is a very devout um, Christian woman. So this story is really, I feel like very interesting because all this tension between the hot and the cold and then the old ways and the new ways and that really kind of comes alive in the story. Um, you really get the sense of the storms that come in but that feeling of warmth and comfort when you're like in the house and by the fire and how close you are to the fire. So I think this is a perfect book, especially if it's snowing outside. This is the book to read. The last book I have to recommend is also a female-led fantasy book, but I believe this one is set in more of um, like the UK, but like medieval as well. And that is The Daughter of the Forest. And our main character, Sarah Raha is the youngest daughter and has six older brothers and they're very, very close to each other. They all have certain skills, certain things that they're good at. But again, like the last book, her mother dies as she is being born. And when Sarah Raha is around, I believe like 11, 12, her father remarries, basically a witch. She kind of enchants their father and puts a spell on all of Sarah has brothers and she's banished into the forest and she is the only one who can lift the spell. This book is, is a honestly pretty long book but I found myself just like really enjoying it. I was listening to it so I think that's very helpful. It, feel, it feels a lot like kind of Lord of the Rings but more female centric and really f focusing on the love between siblings, which I also don't find as much in books compared to like romantic love. I will say there are depictions of SA. I probably would have just like fast forwarded it. It didn't really need to be there, which was one thing I would say against this book. But besides that, I thought that a, a great book just to feel cozy and to, as you're like doing other things. Well, those are all my uh, cozy book recommendations. Let me know what books you like to read while you're 
um, while it's raining or it's snowing or it's just like a little more brisk in the air depending on where you live. If you like this video, give me a like and subscribe.